Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're in Chat LLM Teams by Abacus, and this is a fantastic platform. In LLM Teams, you get access to all of the top LLMs under one roof. And not only that, it's half the price of a standard Chat GPT license. It's absolutely crazy. You can see here, if I click on this down arrow, for example, you've got access to GPT-4 Omni, Claude Sonnet 3.5. It's only been out like three days. It's already good to go, and it's here. Llama 3 by Meta, Gemini 1.5 Pro. This is the Pro Edition. You get Abacus AI Smog, which is lighting up the leaderboards for open source over there on Hugging Face, Claude Opus, and so much more. And not only is it only $10 a month compared to $20 for a ChatGPT license, for example, you can also get the first month free. So if you're still not sure, try it out free. It's pretty wild. With that said, now let's dig in and take a look at what this can do. All right, so here we go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go up here to the top and then you want to select the actual LLM that you want to work with. In this one, I'm going to select Claude Sonnet 3.5 because that one, it just came out the other day and it's brand new and it, it's winning in a lot of categories at the moment. So let's select Claude Sonnet 3.5. Now I want to show you how you can chat with PDF. So if you have your own document, you can drop your own document into it, your own PDF document, for example, and you can extract valuable information. Let me show you an example here. So I'm just going to go into my finder. And then here I've got Tesla's Q1 or first quarter results. And it's quite a document if I'm being honest here. I've got it open here in Adobe. And when I open this up in Acrobat, pardon me, look at this here. You'll see here that here's just a bunch of summary. And then here's the financial summary. Now, I want to be able to see if chat LLM teams can extract specific information. So let's go here and just find an example here. For example, adjusted EBITDA Q1 2024. That's this number here, as you can see. Let's see if I ask it, what is the adjusted EBITDA? And let's see what number we get back. We should get the exact number here. So what is the, oops, what is the adjusted EBITDA for Q1 2024, and that number is what? 3384, let's see what it comes back with. All right, so as you can see here, it gave us the exact correct answer, perfect. It says here, according to the financial information, Tesla's adjusted EBITDA for Q1 2024 was 3,384 million, or 3.384 billion. That is the exact correct answer. It does that right out of the box. That's just one of the many things it can do. Let's take a look at another one. All right, so we got the PDF under control. Let's take a look at AI image generation and AI image analysis. This does this perfectly as well. Here, I'll show you how it's done. You just click on new chat up at the top left here, and you'll see here that I've selected GPT-4 Omni. So we've switched from Sonnet to Omni. So I'll show you how easy it is to switch LLM models. Okay, there we go. We're using 4 Omni. Now, all you have to do is type in what you want. Uh, create... An image of a French bulldog with big ears. Okay, we're having some fun. And I also own a French bulldog, so of course I'm biased. You'll see here already, it's generating the image. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So here's our example. And if I click on it, that is a fantastic image of a French bulldog. You'll also notice that it's got some really cool shading on the left side of the face. So it's got a very nice... Uh, lit side lit uh, profile so really really good stuff if I want to download it I can just click on this little arrow here and download it just like that I can also click on the regenerate option so if I want to redo it like I just did there I'll get another kick at the can and we'll get another example now let's look at analyzing images all right welcome back so here's the next image the regenerated image and it's very similar to the previous one it's just zoomed in a little bit more the camera is a little closer Fantastic. Now, let's create a new chat up here at the top left and analyze an image. So I've got an image of my dog here named Kingston. I'll open it for you so you can see it. Here we go. This is my dog Kingston. He's a French bulldog. He's got nice big ears. Okay, now let's go ahead, go back into chat LLM teams, grab that image right here, a copy of Kingston. I'm going to drag and drop it here into the prompt bar, and then I'm going to go analyze this image in detail and you can write this any which way i'm just going to go ahead and add, do it this way then i'm going to hit enter and watch this you're going to see here that it's analyzing the document or in this case the image and look at this it's gone ahead and given me a detailed breakdown 
of the image. So it depicts a close-up of a French bulldog. This is 100% correct. So it says, yeah, breed and appearance. The coat is short and smooth with a brindle and white coloration. That is exactly correct. Uh, just amazing. Broad, flat face with a short muzzle, correct. The eyes are large, round, and dark. This is fantastic. So not only can you create your own images, you can analyze your own images and analyze your own documents. It can do a lot more, though. Let me show you another thing it can do. All right, the next thing I want to show you is some basic data analysis, how you can use chat LLM teams to do things like charting, graphing, plotting, data analysis, etc. It's very easy to do. Let's go up here to the top left. We're going to click on new chat as we usually do. And then let's select our LLM. For this one, I want to use GPT for Omni because it's quite good at this type of thing. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste in the data and the instructions so I can save a little time here typing it all out. And you'll see here it says, analyze this data and provide some insight about your findings. And then here's the data. It's very poorly structured. It's not very clear even what this is about. And I'm doing that deliberately because if it can make sense of this type of data, it can make sense of really any type of data. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and then after I've got that in, I'm just going to hit enter. It's going to go ahead and analyze it. And you can already see it's done pretty quick. Holy smokes. It's given some initial observations. So obviously this was not a complete data set, uh, but it says time range, force values, steps for analysis. You can see they're all here, data cleaning. So it gives you steps on what you need to do. And then here's a great thing, an example analysis in Python. How good is that? So for all you coders and developers out there, amazing. Here's the insights and here's the next steps. This is absolutely brilliant. You can do this all day inside chat LLM teams. And if you want, uh, provide me with a graph uh, oops, of this data. I'm going to go ahead and get it to graph it for me. Watch this. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Here is a graph of the data. And I'll click on it here, and it looks pretty good, although I can't, of course, verify every single point on here. But if we click on this eye, look at this here. It gives you the exact prompt it used. So it says, you know, use B2 should run from minus 0 0.008 marking up to 1.922 seconds and if we looked at the original data that was what we have here in the data up here 0 0.0008 all the way up to 1.922 so you can see here how that happened also you'll see here that it gave us some python code i briefly went over that a minute ago but look at this if i just copy this code or even better i'll just click on this copy code button I can go into a Jupyter Notebook, for example, for you coders out there know what I'm doing here. I'm just going to click on plus new launcher. I'm going to create a new notebook for Python. I'm going to go ahead and just paste that code in. And then at the end of it, I'll hold down and shift enter. And it's going to go ahead and create a graph for us. Watch this. There we go. Now, this graph's a little bit basic, but here you can already see it gives us the information that we wanted. So just doing basic data analysis, just like that, right out of the box, inside chat LLM teams piece of cake all right one last thing I want to show you all right and the last thing I want to mention is that chat LLM teams has real-time search built into it it does not have an arbitrary data or day cutoff so the information is only good up to a certain day this is real time let me give you an example here if I click on new chat I got abacus AI smog selected as the LLM and I'm just gonna copy and paste in here who did the New York Yankees play on June 30th 2024 and what was the score? That was yesterday. So <laughs> it should give me a good result here. So let's see, searching the web, analyzing the results. And the score was Yankees 8, Blue Jays 1. If I go to MLB.com, there it is, 8 to 1. So the real-time data is up to date and it is correct. So another great thing going for chat LLM teams. Last but not least, quickly look up here at the top right. You'll see that you could invite team members. So if you want to share your chats, maybe share your image generation, share your data analysis, etc., it's literally one click away. You can invite a team member, start sharing right away. And you can also connect workplace apps. So if your work maybe uses Slack or Microsoft Teams, Google Drive, SharePoint, etc., there's lots more. You can just go ahead and follow the steps and connect that. So you get all of this for $10 USD a month and you get your first month free. That's half the price of a single license for JetGPT or for Gemini 1.5 Pro. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know why anybody would do anything else but use this, but here it is. 
So there you go, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Be back soon.